Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the collective. So collective, listen, you know the deal. If it resonates, please make it resonate for your higher good from your higher self. If it does not, no force fitting, sharing is caring. Whoever you are on the planet, in case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. It's a fact and it's solid and it's unconditional. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time out of your day to join us. Uh, if you want to get in contact with me for any reason, you want to ask a question, book a reading, send a picture of your pet, just say hello, make a donation. My in, uh, information is in the box below on how to do that. I will never reach out to anybody, so keep be mindful of that, okay? And lastly, if you can hit that like and subscribe, please and thank you. We really appreciate it. It's fun. It doesn't cost anything. It's the right thing to do. It'll make you feel good. It's positive energy that we're circulating and that you can get in here so that I can pick up on it. And uh, even if you don't, we love you unconditionally. So I'm telling you that we are sending you health, wealth, abundance, prosperity to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, we're working with energy. Energy is fluid, okay? Uh, anybody could be resonating in any one of their planets at any time, so keep that in mind. I will call out the most predominant ones. And also, we are in a very heavy retrograde, so show me the energy. That's significant, okay? Here we go. Show me. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay, Six of Pentacles, very good. This is some kind of energy of um, giving or receiving, some kind of help. Perhaps somebody's helping you or you're helping somebody. It could be materialistically, it could be financially, it could be emotionally, spiritually, and mentally as well, all right? You also have the chariot here. Having a goal and a focus and trying to overcome any obstacle to get to it. The chariot is about having control. The chariot is about making also a decision which way to go. Some of you might be traveling. Some of you might be getting a new car. I'm seeing specifically like a red one or a red motorcycle. You have a six of cups here. This is the past. People, places, and things, okay? Uh, you could be sentimental or nostalgic right now. Or people, places, or things from the past could be resurfacing, right? We do have the retrograde. I just said that. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's, uh, there's an imbalance here. There's some, at the foundation of the situation, something was off balance. Something needed, maybe something was very chaotic, okay? Two of Pentacles in reverse does, does talk about disorganization. Maybe being overwhelmed or overcommitted and trying to keep yourself on solid ground. Crowning you, you have a Knight of Pentacles. Now, this could go two ways. This could be you out on a financial endeavor, maybe a new job or some kind of new side hustle or business of your own where you're working your way up, you know, and this is it. Or somebody could be approaching you that has a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus in the chart that's um, going to maybe come in and offer you either a Pentacle or whatever it is. It's solid and stable, okay? Because the Knight of Pentacles actually is the only knight that wants to learn how to be the king of pentacles so they will put the work in this person okay this is somebody coming at you show me um whether it's a job or for or romantic let me see this could be somebody from the past possibly where things were off balance in the beginning but now somebody's focused we'll see what happens and they want equal give and take show me I don't know about you guys, but I'm having such a hard time articulating myself with these retro. I think like six planets. It's like I have marbles in my mouth. Show me. All right, now look. So whoever I'm sitting talking to here is sitting pretty. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you're probably single. You're successful. You have everything you need or you want. You you know you're comfortable in life, meaning you're not worried about playing. Your bills are paid. You're eating and you're healthy. Okay, so I mean that's a big thing, right? Some of you might like red wine. I'm seeing a peach tree. Um, Virgo energy, Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, Nine of Pentacles does talk about being rewarded for your efforts. It's luxury, achievement, and, you know, security. Show me. So, a tasty dish. It looked like a tasty dish to somebody over here. Somebody, like I said, might like red wine here. Okay. Somebody here, it's a death in reverse. Death in reverse, we're talking about somebody has an inability to move forward here. Somebody has a fear of new beginnings, a fear of change, and they could be even stagnant. That's what, you know, Scorpio energy, death in reverse is. Stagnancy. Show me. Show me the center of the spring. What's going on here? 
All right, here we go. Well, 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 what am I telling you? Whoever I'm talking to, you possibly have Earth in your chart, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But even if you don't, you're sitting like the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very generous, sensible, nurturing, practical, down-to-earth, solid, hardworking, stable. Stable on all levels. Emotionally mature, generous. I mean, we like the King of Pentacles, a business person. You could be a business person. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, you can, you know, the Queen of Pentacles could be lonely because the Queen of Pentacles is busy working and making sure that they are stable. And, um, you know, like I said, if you're a business person, you're worried about that. But with the Ace of Cups in reverse here, that then causes a feeling of feeling unloved, gloomy, empty, cold, repressed emotions. Feeling like, you know, you're not being emotionally fulfilled on any level. Tell me. All right, here we go. Queen of Cups. So, okay. Your soulmate's coming in. Here's the thing. You're feeling this way right now, but either you're the Queen or the King of Cups. It doesn't matter, okay? This is somebody that's very loving, like I said, caring. So this is a business person. You could be a business person and a mother here. I feel like this is the same person, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, you're business-minded. Maybe you're focused on that. And this is why you're sitting here single, you know. But here you go, Queen of Cups. This is somebody very generous and sensible. This is somebody compassionate, warm, a healer of some sort. Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, somebody very calm, emotionally mature, emotionally available. Somebody could be having a baby here. Somebody could have a few cats. Somebody's eating a ciabatta bread. Whoa. Okay, um, because the King of Cups that you don't see coming in, your partner. This is mom and dad here. This are two people that are very um, emotionally balanced, and they're going to be like devoted to each other, taken to the end. They're soulmates, okay? I'm seeing dolphins, something about a dolphin. And you're in calico cat, a cat, calico. Emerald green could be of significance. Show me. So here comes daddy, there's mommy. So, you know, the thing is here that whoever you are that I'm talking to, you are in a beautiful energy. You probably have earth and water in the chart somewhere. Problem is you're feeling unloved, gloomy, and you know, like there's probably no one. Why? Because you've been so busy working. And you're afraid to change that. You're afraid if you stop working for a minute, well, guess what? Spirit's gonna stop you for you, okay? So here comes daddy to your mommy. Now, some of you, you really, you're gonna be up in your head over here. You're gonna be driving yourself crazy with ruminating thoughts. Uh, feeling like your hands are top, tied or trapped in a situation here, all right? Um, you know, this is, I always tell you, too far short of a happy meal, ready for the Thorazine shuffle. You know, it's, it's the Eight of Swords talks about um, some kind of, uh, I don't know, con confinement, restriction, isolation, paralysis, victimization. But usually you're doing it to yourself, you know what I mean? You don't, you just worried, worried, worried. Stressed out about this. Just let it go. Go for it. Because you why? Because you feel change here. This is what the problem is. You feel change. That's crazy. Change is the one constant in life. I tell you people all the time. Yeah, look, it's the lovers. Gemini energy. And a new opportunity here. So this is a soulmate coming in. I told you that just a minute ago, didn't I? Let me see what we have. Um, yeah, look at this. There's going to be a breakthrough. Some of you are holding back. You completed a cycle. It looks like you... Listen, this is Gemini energy for the lovers. A decision has to be made about this relationship. But it looks like you're up in your head driving yourself crazy. There is a new opportunity for beginning here. A manifestation. Some kind of resourcefulness. Some kind of prosperity. Could be financially, yeah. But it could also be in love here, right? This, because, yeah. It's a new opportunity. Somebody could be living on a... Like in the country. A farm or something like this. Like, yeah. So let me see what you have. You have Scorpio, Gemini, and Cancer. Show me. What's the advice from Spirit, please? What's the advice from Spirit? Please and thank you. Show me. Hit the ground. What's the advice from Spirit? Stay committed, dedicated, and focused to what you're doing. Concentrate. When this relationship comes up, stay focused on it and, you know, commit yourself to it. This is what this is. Spirit's advising you to keep working like you're doing here. And just let spirit handle it. That's nice. Spirit's hooking you up, whoever I'm talking to. They're doing the match. I'm here, matchmaker, matchmaker. Here we go. Show me. Show me. 
What's the final outcome on here? What's the final outcome? Your outcome is, here we go. If this is a wish come true, look at this. This is a wish come true. This is a dream. This is, uh, you know, hope for your future. Beauty inspiration. Yeah. I'm leaving it right like that. The star, Aquarius energy. Yep. Happiness, healing, healing. Beautiful. You guys are going to have a wish come true. So just keep working, do what you're doing, keep your head down, mind your business. When the relationship does come in, please be, you know, committed to each other. You're going to be committed to each other to wish come true. Because you're soulmates. It's the only way to look at it. Here you go. Don't be in denial with the two of swords here. You know, uh, make a choice. Don't feel like you're stuck. It is, there is a difficult choice that's going to have to be made. Somebody might have been trying to get away with something with the seven of swords here. It could have been a level of um, trickery, scheming, sneakiness, betrayal. Somebody's an empress here. They know their worth and their value. Everything they touch turns to gold. Yep. So you'll see when this comes in. Let's get you some letters. Guys, thank you. Don't again forget to hit that like and subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. Here's your letters for today. You got D, T, C, meaning Dutch, N, Dutch, Dutch, F, two I's, an H. Yeah, I'm hearing Dutch. I keep hearing Dutch. Fan. Somebody's a fan. Finn. Finch. A Finch. I don't know. Let's see if I can get to... Uh... Now I want the vowels. Usually I cannot... Yeah, two E's. That's great. All right. And another D. All right. Fine. Somebody's going to find their, their match over here. I can tell you that. Somebody else might get ditched. Okay. Thank you so much. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light. All right, let me see.